everyone, it's me, Fael, once again, and today we are going to be finishing up Crow Scare. It is this little fall themed game about this cute little scarecrow boy da, who is, against his father's knowledge, sneaking outside every night and going to visit the witch in the woods, who, um, is probably murdering everybody. <laughs> but he is an innocent little baby who isn't catching all the red flags. So we may be walking to our death. Hey, you're back. I haven't seen you in a while. Know what you're looking for? I know what you're looking for, kid. You want something subversive, right? Everyone talks about an evil witch in the woods, so you want to befriend her and prove them wrong, right? And then it turns out it's all one big misunderstanding. She's a good witch after all. Or maybe she was bad and it just took the kindness or someone else to make her better. That's what all the storybooks teach you, right? Tough luck, kid. It doesn't work like that in the real world. Hang on, I kind of dropped something here. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know. I don't think this bird would be her. Then how is this sentient crow just hanging out and warning this little boy? Well, I was going to turn the battery down, but or turn the music down a bit, but I was a genius and just broke my remote. Okay. I don't know how I manage that, but here we go. Sometimes, people are just evil, and there's no helping it. And all the second chances in the world won't make a difference. You keep saying this kind of stuff. But I don't understand. Ever since I met her, she's been nice to me. She helped me get back home. She cooks me dinner. She teaches me stuff. And what do you do for her in return? Huh? No good favor goes unreturned. She's going to make you pay her back for those favors. One way or another. And I don't think you'll be ready for when that happens. I've given you the extent of my help. Whatever. Ooh. I didn't mean to go forward. Uh. I missed one. <laughs> but I don't think I can stick around to see it. Goodbye. And good luck. Oh, that was so loud. I don't know how I broke this. Okay, so. So Bird has finally given up on us. He's been trying to warn us every night about what we are doing is very dangerous and we just don't trust the bird which I would have totally trust the bird at this point especially after you know the nightmare from the night before where we thought we saw um, blood everywhere and a dead body but you know that's not Mom, I'm here. Sorry if I was late. Happy Harvest Night. <laughs> Happy Harvest Night to you too. And no worries, you're right on time. I'm still getting dinner ready. I'm almost finished though. So you can play around for a bit if you like, or you can sit at the table and let me know when you're ready to eat. Uh, I don't think there's really anything to play around with. We go back to the dungeon. Oh, it's covered up. Oh, it's covered up now. I 
guess we can't do anything. I don't want to try to go in her room. So, are you excited for the Harvest Festival tomorrow? Mm-hmm. It's actually going to be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are going to be there. <laughs> Sounds fun. Hey, are you okay? Oh yes, I'm just thinking that one day I'd like to be able to attend too. Oh no. I'm sure we can make that happen. I mean, once everyone in town realizes we don't mean any harm and stuff. Yes, maybe one day. Still though, I'd like to contribute to the festival. Somehow. Some way. So I made something for it. Oh? It's this. This vial. The liquid inside looks like the red stuff from the cauldron I saw the other night. It smells awful. The town. There's a statue in the center, right? Of a goddess holding a chalice? Do you think you can pour this vial into the chalice she holds? It's a good luck charm. I made it to ensure a wonderful harvest season for everyone. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I tonight the chalice is going to fill up with moonlight, and it's supposed to have the same effect. Plus, um, I'm not supposed to touch the statue, really. It's considered very sacred, and, um, I, um... If I touch it, I could get in trouble for, um, vandalisms and stuff. Please, Rio. I spent a long time on it, and I'd really mean a lot to me. You don't even have to come back after you do it. You can just go to, go to bed at home. It really isn't a big deal, you know. I doubt you would get in that much trouble. And I've done so much for you, haven't I? Can't you do me this one favor? For me? For your mother? After all she's done for you. What will you do? Oh no. Oh no. I was trying to hit the open the menu button. Oh, I hit X. I didn't hit yes or no. God. N no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Pardon me. It wouldn't be right. At least not without asking first. I was always taught to respect the goddess statue. And that was the only drink allowed in the chalice of moonlight. Really? After everything I've done for you, I fed you, I housed you, I taught you, and this is how you repay me. As if I owed you any of those things to begin with. I, I know, and I I'm sorry, Mom. I can't do it. Then, you cannot be my child. Mom? Oh! What? What just happened? D Dad? Oh! Oh! She ripped him in half? Holy freak! Dad! Dad! Rio? Was that you? Goodness, Rio! Oh no! The dad! But Rio, how did this happen? Your your legs, they're... Dad, the dad, she, she's... Be quiet, Rio. It's okay now. As for you... Stay away from my son. Oh, oh my god. that magic. It was supposed to be for the festival. What are you talking about? The festival? Oh, Rio. Don't worry about silly fireworks. You're more important than anything like that. Rio. Are you... How do you feel? I'm okay, Dad. I can't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. 
That's good. That's good. I'm a little scared, though. What's gonna happen when the sun comes back up? It won't. I'll make sure it doesn't. <laughs> Don't be silly, Dad. There's no way you can do that. Nonsense. I'll drown this world in darkness if it means keeping you safe. Dad, what should I do? You don't have to do anything. If I sleep, will I be okay? Yes. You will be. I'll make sure of it. Okay. Then I, I think I want to go to bed now. Yes. Yes, that's alright. Good night, Rio. I love you. She'll see me in the morning. Oh! Bad end number two. The sun won't come out tomorrow. <gasps> oh my god, I'm about to cry. Oh my gosh. I thought the dad was like the bad person this whole time. No, he really loves his son. <sighs> and I didn't say. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't save it all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I, I had a little bit of tears there. Holy crap. Oh no. That was so beautifully done though, that illustration. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to quickly run through and get back to there, because I think that's the only actual choice there is. Um, so I'm gonna skip through all this really quick, and you'll see me again in a minute. <sighs> okay. Okay, 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 I'm back. Oh my gosh, uh, that took like... A lot of speed running to get back here. Um, so my eyes are a bit drier now. <laughs> but okay, we're back here. I forgot to save right before this again, but uh, hopefully we don't have to redo all this again. Okay, you guys ready? Now, last time I hit refuse. I didn't mean to, but I did. So this time uh, we're gonna hit take the vial. Yeah, of course I'll do it. I mean, it's just a good luck charm, right? There shouldn't be any harm in it. Maybe it'll even bring us extra luck in this harvest season, and we'll get giant pumpkins. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Now, go now. You should fill it up before midnight tonight. I know the results will be so wonderful. I'll be able to see them from here, I promise you. Go on then, I'm so excited. Okay... Okay, no one's out here. All I gotta do is climb up on the statue, pour this in, then I'll just go home, like she told me. I know it's nothing bad, but I still feel nervous about it. Can we not? Can we just go home? Ah, food. Anybody else out here? Are we all alone? Goodness, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Someone stop me. Someone stop this child. Oh, I think we're all alone, guys. Yep, we're all alone. We gotta do this. Oh, I, I think I heard there was three endings, and um, we already got the second bad ending. Um... statue looms above you. <clears throat> Somehow, her po pose doesn't seem as jo jovial as it normally does. Hello, Miss Luciana. I got a drink for you. You climbed up on the statue and filled the chamber. There you go. It was a present from my mom, so I hope you like it. I'll see you again later for the Harvest Festival. Oh, goodness. Yawn. Good morning. Huh? Is it still night time? Why haven't I changed back? Dad? 
Dad, are you home? Where are you? Oh. Oh. What did you do? What, what's all this? What happened to the farm? The, the sky? Oh, that is not good. What, what's going on? I, I gotta go to town. I gotta find someone. I gotta find Dad. Oh, oh, oh no, Haley. Blood surrounds the grass near ha Haley's face. Her face is missing. Her body appears weirdly fleshy. H Haley, what happened? Oh, oh my God, is that blood? A bucket of something. Oh my God, that's blood. That's fucking blood. Excuse my language. in the window. It's locked, but you have a haunting feeling you don't want to go inside anyway. <gasps> Something hangs in the window. The signs in the window seem to imply they are on for sale for a great deal. The signs describe them as being meaty, juicy, and delicious. The scarecrow's face is dripping with a red substance. Its body appears strangely fleshy. messed up guys oh I didn't know we could go back here we messed up we really messed up oh no there's like no life anymore I'll look at that in a minute I think that's important oh my gosh Oh, there. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't want to talk to her right now. <coughs> the goddess is covered in what appears to be blood. The inscription on the plate has changed. It reads, You have fed the goddess your wishes for the harvest season. She has delivered upon you the season you wished for. May your harvest be as plentiful as you hoped. Oh. The windows only offer you a small glance into the inside store, but you don't want to you don't think you want to look inside right now. Rio, there you are. Oh my gosh, she looks terrified. Mom, what's happening? I I can't find my dad or anyone. What happened? What happened? The Harvest Festival is happening. A grand start to an incredible harvest season. And it's all thanks to you. Look at it all. Isn't it beautiful? An endless supply of food. An endless celebration with the fir finest ambrosia one could ask for. And with us running it all. I had been waiting here for so long. Time and time again. I wondered if I even made the right choice choosing this place. They all said it wasn't worth it, that I should try someplace else. But where else would I be able to re reap such a plentiful harvest? All my waiting has finally paid off, and it's all thanks to you, my beautiful son. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The son I deserved all along. <laughs> I'll be the queen of this world. And I'll guess that makes you my little prince then, doesn't it? What's with that face? Oh, don't look so sad, Rio. I've invited all my friends. They'll be here soon to celebrate with us. And I know they'll want to thank you for the wonderful harvest, too. Oh, gosh. Bad moon, a uh, bad end one.
Blood Moon Festival. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I got both of the bad ends. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, I think it was kind of well. There was a good end. Okay. Um. Oh gosh. What do I do to get the good end? Do I need to read? Uh, hmm. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I gotta do a little bit of research. Okay guys, I got it all figured out now. I had not read a book that we were required to read. So I went all the way back through the game again because my save point I did was after it. Okay, I went all the way back and I just got the oil for the lantern. So now we need to go back downstairs. And if you look, there is now a book here. A bright yellow book rests atop the shelf. Opening it up, it seems more like a journal with lined spaces to write in. There's writing here, hidden in the fog, in addition to the numbers of the night. If only I could get it right, and then I'll be able to unlock it. Oh, addition to the fog. That means the numbers in the bathroom, right? Because it fogged up. And then plus the numbers of the night. So, is that the clock versus the... Okay, so 12.05 from the clock versus uh, plus 64.28. Mm, and that's why I'm not using calculator. Seven six three three. I guess that's correct. Okay, let's try that number. Do 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 do. Cause I want the good end. I do. We got both of the bad. We got both of the bad ends. So we need the good end. Okay. Time reads six sixteen. Wait, so it's not 12.05 from before, 6.16 now. Oops. So 64.28 plus 6.16, right? Four. Three, so 70.43? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's, o there's only two things that are locked in this house now. That'd be the door, okay, and the chest in the witch's room. Input the number using your arrow key. Okay, okay, let's see. Seven, oh, four, can I get it? No! <sighs> the numbers on the mirror, which is the fog, versus the numbers... That should be right, because it's 6428, unless the numbers have changed. Right? Okay, I'm using calculate. 6428 plus 616. Oh, I was one number off, guys. It's 7, it's 7044. Alright, what's in here? There seems to be a collection of books in the chest. They're all children books. Things like educational books and fairy tales. Opening up the covers, you can see the library signature. Whoa, these are way past overdue. 
there's a note at the bottom of the pile if you're reading this and I know you can read this don't even think about it put them back before I burn them G jeez okay I gu guess I won't be taking any of these huh okay she has overdue library books I wonder if those were her sons huh Okay. Okay, and now I guess the only thing left to do is go back. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Ah, my camera keeps moving. I'm sorry if I'm leaning, guys. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm all straight. <laughs> checking it out make sure everything was correct bum ba dum bum bum oops sorry and dead body poor child sorry I um I covered this a little earlier so I was I've now seen this about four times because I keep having to run through the game um doo -doo. Yeah, wrong wrong button. Wrong button. I'm having technical difficulties. Give me a second. Okay. <coughs> yeah, she's So apparently I she killed somebody. I don't know how she hit the body that fast. Cause there was definitely a body. He's not hallucinating. There was no one out there. It was just a forest. How can that be? She was right there. Oh gosh. She is tricking you. You've never had nightmares before, bud. Why do you think you're going to start now? Does he even sleep? Yeah, I'm just hurrying through this so we can get back to where we were. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go visit her. This is the night of the harvest night. Okay, only thing we should have to do now is talk to the bird, and it should be unlocked. And I don't know anything else about, I don't know how this is gonna end. I'm worried about our little straw baby. This is supposed to be the good end, uh, or also called the true end. Um, Okay, here we go. Hey, you're back. I haven't seen you in a while. I know what you're looking for, kid. You want something subversive, right? Everyone talks about an evil witch in the woods. So you wanted to befriend her and prove them wrong, right? And it turns out that it's all one big misunderstanding. She was a good witch after all. Or maybe she she was bad and it just took the kindness of someone else to make her better that's what all the storybooks teach you right tough luck kid it doesn't work like that in the real world sometimes people are just evil and there's no helping it and all the second chances in the world won't make a difference you keep saying that kind of stuff but I don't understand ever since I met her she's been nice to me she helped me get back home, she cooks me dinner, she teaches me stuff. And what will you do for her in return? No good get favor goes unreturned. She's going to make you pay her back for those favors one way or another, which we have already seen. <sighs> I hope I hope our dad comes to the rescue in this one. Uh, we need one more, we need to see more of the daddy. I wonder if he really is Ingram. Does it make a lot of sense about why he doesn't want uh, his child to go to there anymore? Or go into the woods? <coughs> well, pardon my voice. I've been filming all of this in one day because I got so carried away with the game. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to go for this because we've seen this. Oh! He's like, hey, wait a minute. You dropped something. This is a key. But it couldn't possibly go to, could it? Ingram's door? Could it be Ingram's door? Wait, 
I keep wanting to hit the WASD pad. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mom, I'm here. Sorry if I was late. Happy harvest night. <laughs> Happy harvest night. No worries, you're right on time. I'm still getting dinner ready. I'm almost finished though. So you can play around for a bit if you like. Or just sit at the table and let me know when you're ready to eat. Uh, we are definitely going right up here. Uh, we're gonna unlock this door. This key. It has to go here, right? The door is unlocked. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's the bird. Oh, is the bird the child? I thought it was gonna be Rio's dad this whole time, but is the bird actually the child? Did she turn him into a bird? Hey, you're here. Oh. Hi, kid. How'd you get in here? You dropped your key. <laughs> you got me. This used to be my old room. Then, does that mean you're Ingram? The person who wrote in those books? Yeah. That's me. So, you were mom's son? Uh, her, her other son? Yeah. I feel like you're coming to this revelation over and over again. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, why are you here? I come by every now and then to collect some old stuff of mine. Not that I had a lot to begin with, but it's not easy to carry things as little as I am right now. I see. Well, go ahead and look around, kid. I know you're curious. A wooden box full of unknown contents. There doesn't seem to be any kind of way to open it. Can we look at the spider we have? No? Okay. An old journal sits on the floor. Um, am I allowed to read this? Go ahead. It might even be better if you do. Winter. It hasn't snowed yet. That makes me happy. It means that I can keep going into town. I used to hate going into town because of all the scarecrows. Honestly, they still freak me out. It's like they're peering into me, drilling their eyes into my very being. They know I don't belong. Ah, I'm leaning again. Sorry, guys. I just get into it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> there we go. Much better. They know I don't belong. But despite that, they don't make me feel sick. Not at all. Not like they used to do. It's not like they do to you. I guess that's why you make me go into town instead, huh? Nah. I think even if they did make me sick, you'd force me to go anyway. Spring. I saw Miss B for the first time in a while today. She told me I got so much taller from the last time she saw me. She said she missed seeing me at the library. I was always one of her best students. I learned so quickly. She said she remembered helping me learn to write my name. She started getting a little emotional about it. I did too. Learning how to write was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Even if it comes with its own consequences at home. That reminds me. I saw a woman in town get mad at her t kid today. Outside the bookstore, he was whining and screaming and making all sorts of noise. And she clearly had enough. You could see it in her face. She was mad. But she didn't hit him. She said I was late coming back from town today. I wasn't. And I brought her everything she needed. So she had no reason to get so angry. But by this point, I understand she doesn't need a re reason to be angry. She'll lock me in the storage room all night for looking at her wrong. I'm sure she thinks it's a punishment, but it's not like my room is that much bigger than the storage room to begin with. She's been getting a lot easier to piss off lately, though. I'm not sure why, but it worries me. It's the only reason I'm still here. Getting older, it's apparent now more than ever that someone has to keep an eye on her. If only I were strong enough to do something about it. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera there. <laughs> okay, so 
Lee Room is not having a bad time. Would she, like, take away his human form as punishment? Because he's like a crow now, and clearly he can't turn back into human. Autumn. I know what she wants to do now. And I know she'll try to make me do it. I refuse. These are people, not her playthings, and certainly not her food. And they've been more of a family to me than she ever was. Too many times now I listened to her because I was afraid. But this is bigger than me. And I won't let her have her way. I'm not going to help her do what she wants. This is the last straw. I'm running away. I'm going into town and I'm going to tell everybody about what she's planning. I'm not afraid anymore. An old bed. It's covered in dust. Where's the rest of it? What do you mean? There's no rest of it. That's all I wrote. But you talked about how you were going to run away. What happened after that? What happened? She caught me. That's what happened. And why I'm stuck like this. She knew I would try to tell everyone, so she cursed me to stay trapped in my bird form forever. I'm way too small to do anything like this. And not a lot of people listen to the warnings of a silly little bird like me. But, you still told me. Yeah, because a kid like you need to hear, needed to hear it the most. With me out of the picture, you were exactly the kind of person she needed. Still, I, I don't know if I can believe all this. Mom was always so nice, and she... You're cursed. Is there a way to reverse it? <laughs> yeah, but it ain't that easy. What is it? Maybe I can help. Not unless you're an expert in sawing the arms off grown women. Ooh. Ooh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. We gotta... We need the grown one. Do we need mom's arm? Huh? Only way to reverse this curse is to drink the blood of a family member. Ew. Curse this half bird child, ungrateful is he. If he wishes to fly away, then only a bird he shall be. Drink the sap and blood from your family tree, ingest it at once, and only then you'll be free. I'll never forget that. I hate that stupid dorky rhyme. But she set it up this way, knowing that if I ever got close enough for her to attempt it, she'll crush me easily. Do you want to try some of my straw? It might ha work. Oh, oh, this poor baby. This, he's precious, okay? He is a cinnamon roll. He needs to be protected. He is the baby. Oh. <laughs> Pardon me? I mean... If she's my mom, and she's your mom, then that makes us brothers. And when I look like this, well, I don't know. Kind of seems like every part of me is made of straw. My hair, my blood, heck, probably my bones, too. So maybe if you eat some of my straw, it'll work the same way. Oh, oh he's precious. You're joking, right? I mean, it might not work, but... Isn't it at least worth trying? It's just straw. The worst that could happen is, is that you ate some hay. Alright, screw it. Give me a straw. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, it isn't that hard to eat. I used to eat leaves all the time before ta Dad told me to stop. Kid, what the... F <gasps> Oh my god, it worked! Oh my god, look at him! Oh. <laughs> it works! Holy hell, it did work! Come on, kid, let's get you out of here. Hey, 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 I can't leave yet. Mom is still waiting for me out there. You don't want that woman as your mom, kid. Don't you see that by now? Look what she did to me the second I said no to her. Do you think that is going to happen to you? Stop yelling so much. 
even even if even if mom isn't as nice as I thought does that mean I can uh, I can just can, does that really mean I can just leave of course you can I'm giving you an out right now hop out the window and we'll go back to town leave this old witch to rot in the woods by herself but she's waiting for me out there <sighs> should have known you'd be difficult about this I'm trying to save you from my fate or hell even worse but of course you wouldn't get it you're just a kid yeah and you're just a teenager <laughs> besides isn't trying to run away exactly how you got caught kid alright I get it but what are you going to do then she's going to ask you to do something out there for her you know it's harvest night and she's been planning for it if you try to refuse her I'll figure something out I'm a smart kid after all and mom maybe it won't be as bad as you think don't place your bets on it I'll be waiting for you outside whatever you do get out that front door safely all right yeah, we have a big brother now <laughs> oh my gosh I can't believe that straw turned his back Oh, maybe it's because he's magical. Hmm? Okay, I am going to see freaking you. Okay, what? Did that work? Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, bye. Bye, Mom. I'm leaving. You don't have to leave right now. Damn it. Yeah, I do. I gotta go home. <laughs> so, are you excited for the Harvest Festival tomorrow? I'm out of water, guys. Uh, I've drank all my water. <laughs> So, are you excited for the Harvest Festival tomorrow? Mm-hmm. It's actually going to be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are going to be there. <laughs> Sounds fun. Hey, are you okay? Oh, yes. I was just thinking that one day I'd like, be, I'd like to be able to attend, too. Okay, I'm sure we'll be able to make that happen. I mean, once everyone in town realizes you don't mean any harm and stuff. Yes, maybe one day. Still, though, I'd like to contribute to the festival somehow. Some way. So I made something for it. Oh? It's this. This vial. The liquid inside looks like the red stuff from the cauldron I saw the other night. It smells awful. The town. There's a statue in the center, right? Of a goddess holding a chalice? You think you can pour this vial into the chalice she holds? It's a good luck charm. I made it to ensure a wonderful s harvest season for everyone. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, tonight the chalice is going to fill up with moonlight. And it's supposed to have the same effect. Plus, um, I'm, I'm not supposed to touch the statue. Really. It's considered very sacred and, um, uh... If I touch it, I could get in trouble for um, vandalizing and stuff. Please, Rio. I spent a long time on it, and I really, it really mean a lot to me. You don't even have to come back after you do it. You can just go to bed at home. It really isn't a big deal, you know. I doubt you would get into that much trouble. And I've done so much for you, haven't I? Can't you do me this one favor? For me? For your mother, after all she's done for you? <laughs> Sabotage. Sh sure, I'll take it. Just let me... Oh. oh, I dropped it. I'm sorry, Mom. It was an accident. But, but, it isn't all bad. I'll just go back home and tell everyone to take the scare... You dropped it. I, I know you dropped it on purpose. Do you think I'm stupid? N no, of course I don't. I just... 
outrageous. All my children know how to do is disappoint me. Mom? No! It happened again! No, okay. Huh? Huh? Nice try. <gasps> Big Brother? Big Brother Ingram? Yes! 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 Get out of here, kid. Don't just sit there. Go. I'm going to take care of it. Oh no, oh no, don't die Ingram, don't die Ingram, okay, okay, you're our big brother for life now, we love you, don't die. Go get, go get your dad, go get your dad. You. Look at you, doing what you know best. Getting in my way. You always were a disappointment to me, Ingram. Not going to say anything, not even to your own mother. You can't scare me anymore. That's the real reason you cursed me, isn't it? Because you knew you couldn't scare me anymore. And when I'm not scared, I'm stronger than you. <laughs> we'll see about that. You know, Ingram. Despite all the heart heartache you've caused me, I am still a parent. The hell? Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid, guys. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. Okay. What are you doing? Get your ugly claws out of my mouth. Did it make you feel better to say that? Are you happy now? It may be hard for you to see, but I am a mother. And there's nothing a mother loves more than to see her children happy. So won't you do your poor old lady some good and smile for mommy? <gasps> Did she just rip his mouth open? Oh my god, is he dead? Is he dead? No? Okay, um, yeah, dad? <laughs> you you need to go help my uh big brother. Go help him. Go help him now, please, please, please. Come on, Dad, wake up. Wake up, my friend needs help. Rio, is it morning already? I could have sworn. Rio, what is this? You you weren't supposed to. I know, I know. I wasn't supposed to go out at night. And I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry about it. But my friend, he's in trouble. He needs help. If we don't hurry, she might... No. Oh. Oh. I took care of it. She can't hurt anyone anymore. But if it's not, not too much trouble to ask. I do... I do need help. Oh, fudge! With a little something else. Oh. Okay, okay. Look, Ingram's there with us. Oh, and we're in our scrawl straw form. Oh. <sighs> oh, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Oh. What are you what are you smiling about? Happy to see the fireworks? Or happy we managed to survive last night with our asses still intact? <laughs> All my friends may have moms, but none of them have a big brother like I do. <laughs> yeah, we're brothers. I don't really think I can deny that at this point. I'm sure anyone can see the family resemblance. I mean, look at us. We've got the same smile, don't we? Oh, because they're both stitched. <laughs> 
true and a smile to match my own. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I like really, really love this game. Oh my gosh. Look, thank you for playing. Oh my god. The bellies. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I really love this game. This has got to be one of my favorites I've played on the channel. Oh my gosh. Oh. <sighs> this is why I like randomly finding indie games and playing them. You'll, you'll notice that most of the games I play are indie games. I just grab them and I decide to play them because you don't hear about these, a lot of these games because the bigger games get overlap them. Like, I had never heard of this game until I was br browsing around and it popped up and I'm like, oh, this looks cute. And I am so glad I played it. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as I did. Oh my gosh, I know I did. Oh, yeah. But, um, this person, I'm going to be linking, um, the link. Uh, the link to their profile down below. You need to definitely go give them love. They have played, a f or they have created a few other games that I am definitely going to be playing now. I think this is their newest one, Crow Scare. Uh, but I want to play all their other games now. <laughs> so, uh, you guys should look forward to that. Please let me know what you thought down below of this game. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Ingram! Ah, uh -huh. I was so afraid he was gonna die, but he didn't, and now he has a big brother. I, I do wish we could have seen, like, a scene of uh, the dad there with them, because I feel bad about being so sus of the dad at the very beginning, um, because he genuinely, he super loves Rio. That is his child, and... Now that I know that, I just want to see more of the dad <laughs> with his son. Well, now sons, because, I mean, of course, he's got to have adopted Ingram at this point, right? <laughs> but, okay, I'll stop rambling now. Um, I'm just going to say this game gets all my love. As do you guys. Anyone who stick stuck out with me through all these episodes, you get all my love, too. <laughs> and I will see you in the next game.